Want to try out a new career? Explore cultures from around the world? See what's going on inside the human body? Well, turns out there's a place here that lets you do all of that. Made just for kids. Howard Dashevsky takes us to the Hawaii Children's Discovery Museum in tonight's Business Matters Report. It's the colorful building in Kaka'ako that's been bringing smiles to the faces of children and their parents for the past 24 years. But what you may not know is the Hawaii Children's Discovery Center was actually located somewhere else before it wound up here. The Children's Museum first started at Dole County Square. Uh, we opened in 1989 and it was a really small storefront facility and it was wildly popular so we quickly outgrew that space. The old space was only 5,000 square feet, so the board started looking for a permanent home in Kaka'ako and settled on a site that literally rose from the ashes. This actually used to be the old city incinerator, and so um, we needed to raise about $12 million to renovate, build the exhibits uh, for this location, and um, we always like to say that we started in a pineapple um, cannery and ended up in an old city incinerator. Today, there is more than 38,000 square feet of fun to be had, and the center has truly come full circle since the first visitors stepped inside 24 years ago. We definitely see the whole cycle. Um, you know, we have, you know, employees, even volunteers that say, oh, I used to come here when I was younger. And so it's really nice that, you know, this had a special place uh, for them in their heart that they would want to come back and give back. For Leanne, striving to be better every day is something that's instilled inside of her from her mother, Loretta. Though Loretta passed away last November, she will always remain the driving force behind the Discovery Center. It means the world to me. You know, my mom uh, started as a teacher. She was a Head Start teacher. And a group approached her to bring this children's museum movement to Hawaii. And that's always been her passion, you know, empowering children, working with children. And so to be able to carry on that legacy is a dream come true. Today, private businesses and donations support the facility, along with additional workshops and programs. And like every other business, the pandemic changed everything. But Leanne says the joy and the smiles have returned. It's been a you know real challenge these last couple of years, um, but I have to say that our staff, um, they're truly talented and amazing. I mean, they pivoted very quickly. We have preschool playtime tomorrow. What's the theme gonna be? You know, our motto is kind of to do more with less. And so I think that's really what saw us through. Spring break was wonderful. It was so wonderful to see all the families back. It was kind of our first taste of how things used to be. And so we're really hopeful for what's to come. Looking forward, she says the key to success, that'll be the same as it's always been. And you know, our board of directors, my mom, um, they really laid a wonderful foundation for us to just, you know, to grow from. And really, I think our secret is that we have such talented staff. And so they, they truly make the magic happen here. The possibilities for us are really limitless. I think um, we're only limited by how big we can dream. Um, at a place like this, anything is possible. Well, I know that's a children's museum, but it looks like a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I do have memories from there. They had this, like, giant board. I don't know if they still have it, and it had, like, these little metal, uh -huh. little metal things, and you, like, stick your body in it, and it oh. would, like, appear on the other side. Interesting. So even as an adult, that sounds fun to do. <laughs> I would <right>? do that. <laughs>